This process has allowed me to see, you know, uh, where I could go with my, my teaching, what might be other ways that I could deliver the material and, and still be effective. And I think the combination of methods um, will be a beneficial thing too. I think the advantage to developing a hybrid course uh, that, that's most significant to me is the ability to document the best delivery mechanisms, the best content, and to be able to continue to evolve that over time as, as new things change without losing uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sort of the basic content that was already in the course. I think going into this process, understanding that it's not a replacement for what you do, it's not something that's going to take the place of the traditional classroom teaching uh, delivery med mode, but it is uh, an opportunity to sort of say how can we do things differently. There were a series of sessions mostly uh, on Friday afternoons uh, in the beginning weekly and then uh, subsequently every other week and uh, the courses, you know, the, the actual uh, sessions themselves were, were really productive. They were um, on one hand spoon feeding some sort of basic information but it never felt really pedantic or, or sort of basic in its, in, its, in its process and provided me with a lot of information and, and kept me moving toward a goal of completing uh, what was a pretty arduous task with regards to uh, the amount of, of information that we had to document and thinking that we had to do uh, that went into the course development. And what I found very refreshing was that we got very different perspectives. We got experts in different areas relating to the hybrid course transformation. Uh, and the one underlying theme was everybody was positive towards the experience. So they brought different uh, expertise, different suggestions, different resources, and they were in a very positive and helpful manner. It felt like you weren't alone anymore. I had a great experience with my instructional designer. When we started talking about implementation and tools and how do I do this and that, I found them to be a great resource and, and they do, did help us walk through the process. I think part of their value, for me at least, was that instructional designer kept us on, on track. What I found very interesting about the instructional design process and, and this uh, project was the idea of really starting from the bare, bare bones, uh, really destroying what you had uh, in, in a traditional classroom and saying let's start from ground zero and, and rebuild it in a way that's, that's very strong, very structured and, and very in line with the, with the method of delivery. I learned a lot uh, in terms of the process itself, the design of a course, uh, uh, and uh, stressing course goals and objectives and then really narrowing it down to assessments and deliverables. And so my entire experience has been a positive experience. I've learned quite a bit and I think I can transfer some of this knowledge uh, from the course design aspects over to my other courses. I think hybrid classes are good and I think there's components that I could use in even a classroom where I'm in the classroom because I think if there's like material that's basic and core and their applications are what you really want to use in the class with the students, I think you could have that online lecture that they do outside the classroom so that you can really focus in the classroom on the application, the real world, you know, the process of thinking and strategy. I see it as a great opportunity to spend some time developing tools and developing resources that the traditional students typically wouldn't have access to. I think the course is, is actually stands to be improved dramatically, which is a bit of a surprise for me uh, compared to uh, my thoughts going in. So, you know, my, I think my initial expectations were that there was a great uh, opportunity for the course content and the value of the course to be diminished, not increased, uh, particularly in some of the delivery uh, uh, components or aspects of the course. But after really experiencing this, there's a few primary areas where I feel like the course could actually uh, stands to be strengthened pretty significantly. If you're interested in going through this course transformation, uh, it really should be going in with this idea that it really gives you a chance to, to take a step back, look at your course, find an appropriate way to deliver it, um, really reassess what you're doing in the classroom, uh, and finding a better way to communicate that information to the students. 
uh, I think it, you have to go in it with your eyes open that it is a, a major investment of time and, and, and effort, um, but it is valuable time and effort in, in my opinion. It, 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 I feel like it's going to improve my teaching in the classroom and ultimately on this, in this hybrid, hybrid mode.